<laughs> he has no hope of survival after that. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting Do signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as somnasculpt oh, therapy still, is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Oh my god, this guy's tough. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly <laughs> oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Reformulating. That's the best ability in the game. <laughs> it crunches. Improved it's like hypothesis. actually good stun too, but requires additional they don't like block out of it when you start damaging them again. Conclusion. Emergency <laughs> exit <laughs> protocol <laughs> cannot proceed. Oh, okay, that emergency is. exit <laughs> protocol has been emergency well, destroyed. Has a hell of a, have a, the dirty kick has a hell of a long cooldown. That's going to sound like that. Can I get Continue one? With yeah, your, your blasters all sound on different too. Yeah, you're blasting all sound different too. This guy just invited me to join a Mandalorian. Yeah, nah, fuck him. He's been trying to get me all day. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Yeah, fuck him. I could be a Mandalorian. No, you can't. It just said I could. Well, you did the wrong, wrong side of the war here, bud. Stop taking my money. I'm just throwing grenades, man. Don't, don't mind me. See, I wish I had real grenades. Mine's just like a Cairo grenade that just freezes them. No, you've got a, you've got a grenade in there too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I had it when I was a trooper. No, yeah, yeah. there's a non cryo grenade one in there. I only have the regular Cairo. Jeez, what is this? There's another grenade in there. I don't have it yet, then. No, you got it. It was You got it before the cryo grenade. I don't think so. There's definitely a thing that has a knockback and everything. Oh, no. I've got, like, a big uh, flak shock that doesn't okay. uh, That's it. knockback. Yeah. yeah that's, that acts like it. Well, hello, friend. Eat my thermal detonator, bitch. See, look. Wait, wait, this guy. Watch out. See, that's my knockback. What did you do? <laughs> Crunch. Call, we're kicking so much ass you just leveled up just from killing dudes. Good. Call, let uh, that finish when you do it. Oh, I thought it would still do the damage. No, you need to interrupt it whenever you do anything. Uh, so is that super and, and each time it goes, it has a chance of stunning somebody, I think. Yeah, I know. Usually it stuns the smaller guys every time. Or just let it go. Let it, let it pull. Like, do all the way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Hello. My name is that Dr. Bitch. Glenn Pierce. Wow. Thank you That's for rude. completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. The fuck? Your cat looks angry. Oh, what? Oh. oh. Uh, okay. Wow. Oh, he's so done. Call, he's immune to the nut punch. Oh no. Do. Just crack him in the back. I'm gonna punch him in his face. <coughs> that did 10,000 damage. <coughs> Damn, it actually stuns him. That's usually not something that happens. Yeah, it, it has so many chances to proc oh, when you let it go all the way through. The guy asked me again. I am not doing great to heal. How are you? I haven't even taken any damage. Yeah, I'm doing all the damage, so they're shooting me. That's not true. I have more aggro than you. I'm gonna clean up some of the dudes. Alright, well, I'm gonna kill this guy. He's almost dead.
pretty dead. Oh, purple. Whoa. Did you really? Of course, Wait, need nothing is more challenging uh, you than don't the need difficulty it. of Agreed. changing perspective, yeah. of fundamentally no, altering your perceptions in a way that will enable yeah, but you, if you to don't, if you dire don't have need, tr- then it won't. You know what I'm saying? Then if right. someone does say need, like if someone does need it and they hit need, they'll get it. If- God damn it. Okay. Scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. No. They tricked me. Bitch! No! Oh dear. One of these days, one of these days those fire alarms will do something. Out this man, you got it. I don't even know what I'm doing. What? Okay. Clearly. What? There's uh, nothing you can grab? No. Oh. 
Oh, I see you're trying to walk backwards to do the thing. Well, it's making like a happy sound when I walk backwards. See? It makes an angry sound when I don't. <laughs> you, you inadvertently solved that one. I can, t I can tell you what the solution was. What was it? Uh, the first direct... Whether you look left or right, the first one you look at will be the, the dead end. The second direction you look in will be the exit. The key is to make sure the exit is the direction of the arrow was pointing. But the fact that you walk backwards through it all the time, it means you solved it anyways. Team knows this game easy. every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. It's like something out of the Matrix. carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. outside.
<laughs> fucking loading bar. This is highly I'm unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Diagnostic warning. warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail states. states, states. Yo, Chip. Fucking rave happening next door, what the hell? Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented.
that's trippy. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. There's probably like a super tiny door or something I have to go through. That's what I was thinking, but there's a limit to how small you can be, and I haven't seen anything. You can, uh, I think you can go really tiny because as long as you can go through that one door, uh, as long as you shrink it down, right? So like you shrink down really small, implemented, implemented. and then go through the door on the right. You'll be like that small, right? Oh man, it's gonna take you forever to walk anywhere though. Jeez, you're going like microscopic. Surely this isn't it, right? Diagnostic warning. Like Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Okay, maybe you can. There's no um, sprint. We need to be a sprint. Hmm. Maybe you could um, like make it big enough to walk through again, and then go back to normal size, and then just put it like where you want it to be. That way you don't have to like spend the whole time just. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may Why not be keep fully that? implemented. Implemented. Paradox, eh? Is there some way you can cause a paradox? Oh, good idea. Maybe there's something there.
Wait, go back, go back. There's like sound coming from inside that thing. Can you open that? Alright, can you hit the button? Nope. What the hell? There's like, there's something in there. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. I think this is the sound of you dropping the room. Hold on. Can you take that thing through the door? Wow, that's all it was. I did I not do that? I guess that was the paradox. Beat it. Game over, man. Game over. Okay. Okay. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Trippy. Are you in the far green lands? Fuck is happening in this game. <laughs> Your dream is breaking down, man. Oh, this is the hallway. Not an exit, eh? <laughs> That's a bit sus.
What is this sign? The only thing that has color? Oh, you're right. Everything else is black and white. It's hard to do that when you have no reference. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. off Don't guess not actually the stairs <laughs> No Again. It's like debate the game. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out this than is, uh, anyone has ever liminal. come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? It's, a, it's like a puzzle game about perspectives and illusions. Mm, it's like, is this the inception of the game? Basically, it's like it's like a mix of Inception and The Matrix. Oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. Chess 
3D chess, like it's okay. <laughs> what's happening? What the fuck? Did I just? Yeah, I think I just memed it. <laughs> nah, that's cheating. I think that's cheating. <laughs> So you stalk Travis now? Hmm? You stalk Travis? That you managed to know when he's gonna drop by your house? Yo, me stalk him? He's the one driving by my house. Always looking at my car and shit. I just set up, I just have like a camera, just, just in case he passes by. Yeah, you're right actually. Cause he saw my mom too, so obviously he's following all of us. Oh yeah, it's kinda weird actually. Are you doing anything with Chris this weekend or no? I think we're doing something Sunday. I think. Mm. Clearly, the solution has something to do with those chess pieces. Yeah, I just don't know. Maybe you can make him big and walk across like a bridge. Doubt it. What in heck? Of now you don't fall through. is working maybe maybe uh if the chess piece is on the square oh no, damn it what? <laughs> <laughs> i think if the chess piece is on the on the board you don't fall through the square i think it has something to do with the colors because i definitely do like watch oh it was before maybe maybe i was just doing it weird Real question is why is there other things on the side? <laughs> if you fell there, I would fucking die. So there's no enemies in this game. Yeah, it's it's literally just can you find a way out? Okay. 
See how trippy this game is, Eric? What the fuck? Everything's not trippy, you just went through that door. What was so trippy about that? He couldn't go through it until he put an object through it. Oh, I didn't even realize that he was trying to go through it. Also, if you like, he can change the size of objects just by looking at them. How's that so much bigger? <laughs> I think you looked up to. It's a lot of cheese, man. It needs to be bigger. So you just keep looking up at the object and I'm saying it'll look up here. Try to take the cheese with you. Oh, too bad. I think if there's like a blurry door, you can't take objects to it. There's like some interstellar shit here. Yeah. What is it called? The, the Tesseract or something? Oh, I'm thinking of Marvel. Yo, this is some fucking eye straining shit. Oh, it's not really doing anything to me right now. Yeah, I mean, it's not whatever. Oh, you're inside the clock now. Merv. Time to get up for work, Travis. Yeah, time to go. Dude, this is like two hours into Travis's shift. What do you mean? like the place of someone's nightmares. <laughs> endless paperwork. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. That's why you're playing this game, Charles? Often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. No, this, this is like the levels you went through. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. Fucking 
fan. <laughs> the fucking fan. That was like the one thing that just completely stumped him. In a few minutes, me. you'll be back in the real world. And some parts of you will say that none of this was real. So well, it's kind of BS, to be honest. It didn't it. teach us that mechanic. Can you just but him? just like the power and perspective itself, it will have been as real. Can you give this to Sean? Didn't he beat it? Be. Oh, yeah, he, I think he also beat it. It's way up. Can you just take the red pill? Time to take your coffee, man. Is it blue pill? Uh, it's gotta be the end. Is it though? Not if Cheesy decides to uh, 100%. No, I'm good. <laughs> I've never, you... I've, like, I don't think I've ever 100% of any game. Not even Cyberpunk, man. Dude, you didn't even figure out, like, what that blueprint thing was. Yeah, I know. It's probably like, there's probably like a bunch of them heading towards the sunset levels or whatever. Yeah, oh, definitely. Cat Jam? Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize there's music to this game. I think you literally beat it in like two hours. No, it was like four? Three? Four? It's not it's a very long game. game. No, it's pretty short. The speed run for this game is like 20 minutes, so. <laughs> well, I'm guessing they broke like a bunch of the stages. Yeah, they out of bounds a lot. This reminds me a lot of, uh, what was that game? The Stanley Parable? Yeah. Did you, um, you played that one, right? No, but I watched someone play the whole thing, so there's no point, because it's one of those games where once you've seen it played, there's no point in playing it yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like one of those games. I was going to play this myself originally, but then I watched Sean beat like a bunch of the levels in the middle, and I was like, eh, I don't want to play the game if I've already seen him beat like half of it, right? Yeah. There's the speedrun didn't fucking do anything for me. I mean, the whole ending of the game, like, didn't even fucking happen. In the <laughs> speedrun. Dude, they weren't lying when this winter's gonna be cold. On Saturday, it's a low of negative 37 here. It's like, okay, sure. Not before wind chills. Yo, isn't that the norm? Uh, no, it's actually been pretty mild. Like, it still gets pretty cold, but I've never seen, like, negative 37. <laughs> <laughs> If we're catching, it's gonna get to minus twenty here, but I'll believe that when I see it. Oh, is that like this weekend or something? Um, it's like next week. I mean, oh, technically, I'm on vacation starting tomorrow, but I'm not gonna drive down there. Just... Extra modes. Oh no. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. I think there's still. I think there's a love letter for that game. Uh, no. You. You guys talk to Chris at all, like lately, or no? No. He just comes into Discord, demands that we talk about it. We we fucking speak to him during his ping periods, and then he goes away for three months. 